Many say America is becoming a cashless society with so many people using their debit or credit cards to pay for the littlest thing. But as money editor John Delano reports, using a card could become a little more expensive in the future. Credit and debit cards. We use them for just about everything. Buying a cold drink on a hot summer day to food at a restaurant or a hotel room on vacation. It's rarer than ever when someone pays cash, says Mark Hamrick with Bankrate.com. There are increasing uses of electronic payments that have sort of sidelined the use of cash. But there's always been a cost to the vendor for accepting cards instead of cash, usually 2 to 4% of the purchase price. And most businesses just ate that cost. Until recently, says Hamrick, with a growing number of vendors now tacking the transaction fee onto their bill. Where we have uh, businesses that are sort of tacking on the additional fee, let's be honest here. This is just a, glorif a not so glorified way of raising prices on the consumer. But we've been paying that uh, percentage since we've opened 31 years ago, and now we're passing it along to the consumer who's choosing to use a credit card. David Regan, manager of Mulaney's Harp and Fiddle in the Strip District, says his bar and restaurant recently joined others in charging customers the processing fee if they don't pay in cash. People don't seem to mind. It's it's on the credit card, or I mean your receipt when you get it, it says you're paying either cash or credit card and there's a different price. Uh, people don't really seem to mind because it's, it's not that much, but for someone like us, it adds up over a course of a year and is tens of thousands of dollars. Depending on the card you use, it's two to four bucks on every hundred dollars you spend. Hamrick says customers must be alerted to this charge in advance, and he thinks state and or federal regulators may step in. I do think this is a looming area for policy uh, at the federal level, possibly at the state level as well. As consumers, we have to choose where we want to do business. And, you know, we don't have to choose to do business with a place that is going to essentially put a price hike in place to cover their transaction costs. Regan says he's posted a sign to alert customers to the charge. And so far, very few have objected. John Delano, KDKA TV News.